When the term rural comes to mind, an image of a tractor often follows. Yes, tractors are often present in rural areas, but there's a lot more than just tractors in those places. There are small businesses, downtowns, schools, and everything else people have everywhere you go. The only big difference is that rural areas are suffering, and something needs to be done, which is what the Georgia Chamber of Commerce is hoping to do. We started this three years ago to really bring attention to rural Georgia, to tell the story of rural Georgia, and to help connect communities on best practices. Because obviously, we know the decline that we're seeing across rural America. You know, Georgia's going to add 1.5 million people over the next 10 years, but at the same time, 74 of our rural counties are going to lose population. One major topic addressed was the topic of health care. The main concern with health care, especially in rural Georgia, is actually being able to find a doctor. Certainly when you talk about rural health care in Georgia, you have to talk about accessibility. That's one of the things that we have to address is making sure that we have health care professionals, particularly doctors, that are accessible to the people who live in rural Georgia. We've been working on this for many years. We've had some success attracting physicians to, to the rural areas. A lot of physicians want to go to the metro areas. They can you know, generally make more money, or they're busier, but for whatever reason. But nevertheless, we've got a lot to offer in rural Georgia, and we need to make that known. One other big topic is education. One in three Georgia schools are considered rural, which means about 463,000 students go to a rural school. But sadly, Georgia is ranked in the bottom 10 states for a rural education. There's many wonderful things about rural schools in Georgia, just like there are all across the country. Um, they're small learning environments where people care about each other and the great places to be. Um, but also in Georgia, especially, student achievement is low. Um, a lot of our students aren't prepared to go on and do something after high school, whether it be college, career training, um, agricultural careers, and that sort of thing. When it really comes down to it, according to Richard, the issue is funding. Rural is a big part of education in Georgia, and our view is that education, rural education in Georgia needs to be shored up. Um, we don't invest uh, anything close to the national average in spending per student on our rural kids. In the end, there's one thing that stands out in rural America, and that's agriculture. And it's something Clark says needs to always be present when having discussions on how to fix problems in rural areas. I think a lot of times we're having these conversations around the country and we forget to talk about the real driver of rural economies, which is the farm life, right? Uh, making sure we've got talent, making sure farmers have access to the technology that they want, uh, that they have trade opportunities out there. And so being able to have farmers at the table, have agriculture at the table, everyone needs to be at the table to have these discussions. And I think it's vitally important that the ag community shows up, is engaged, and that the business community and local leaders ask them to the table and ask their input. Reporting in Tifton for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.